If you want better FPS in CS2 or smoother gameplay, try this. Press right click on your uh, CS2. You press right click on CS2, properties, you go compatibility, and you have to disable this shit. Don't click here. Unmark and apply. It Your game will be much smoother. I mean, more smoother and uh, it will help you. Like, it will be sharp, you know? It will not be like shit. It won't feel shit. But for the actual in-game video settings, things start to get a bit more intricate. These are Manasi settings, but they might not fit you. Unlike in CSGO, where adjusting some settings to high would help you see through mollies easier, that's not a thing anymore, so you don't have to worry about having global shadow quality, model slash texture detail, shader detail, or particle detail on high. It'll save you FPS having them on low, but if your PC handles CS2 well, the only ones I would say to change to high is global shadow quality and shader detail. Twist has both of these set to high, since in CS2 you see a lot more shadows and they affect a lot more peaks, so being able to see those clearly can help you. Texture filtering should be set to bilinear. It seems to help with frames and everyone I've seen that prioritizes FPS has it set to that. Multi-sample anti-aliasing is another thing that you can mess around with depending on your FPS and if you want to sacrifice some FPS for just better, smoother gameplay. But for higher FPS, you're going to want to turn it off. If you want sharper corners on objects, you could try 2x, but it's not really necessary and it's kind of down to preference. Ambient occlusion seems to just add shadows behind players close to walls. Once again, if you're prioritizing FPS, you could turn it off. A lot of pros have it off, but keeping it on will probably give you a slight advantage because Drops, for example, has it set to medium. Twist, Smuya, and Olaf Meister as of a month ago had it disabled though. Boost player contrast you want enabled, it makes people easier to see, V-Sync you're obviously going to want disabled, high dynamic range pros have used both from what I've seen, it barely affects FPS and gives you a huge visual upgrade so setting it to quality should be completely fine even if your PC isn't that great. And the final real video setting to cover is NVIDIA Reflex, which gets a bit complicated. NVIDIA actually made an entire guide on how it works when CS2 got released and it seems like something you're gonna want on. It pretty much just lowers the system latency and if you click on a person that's running across your screen for example, you aren't gonna miss because of the latency between where they actually are and how fast your system processes that left click to where you shoot to where they are. That's my best way to explain it, and I'm not very good at explaining it, but having it enabled will quote, slightly impact FPS, but if you can handle it, I would definitely keep it set to enable, because slightly impact FPS might be a lot more on some PCs than it is on others, so I would definitely try it on and off and see what the difference is. Also, I almost forgot to mention, for Fidelity FX Super Resolution, just have it disabled. It makes your game smudgy. If you have it enabled, just leave it disabled. So at the end of the day, your settings should roughly look like this, depending on the options you went with when it comes to prioritizing FPS or visual. Keep in mind that I have global shadow quality on high and shader deep detail on high, these are twist settings. You could also put uh, multi-sample anti-aliasing on 4x or 2x if you want to try that out as well. I would recommend putting these two on high, putting this on 2x, trying it out and seeing how your game runs because you will get visual advantages. But if you don't get as good of FPS or it's noticeable, I would turn them off. But these are pretty much your ideal video settings for CS2. But if you did enjoy, you'll love the sponsor. But if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory, Skins Monkey is a great place to get rid of it. Not only do you get a free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up with that link in the description, you can also get a 35% deposit bonus while depositing with cash, crypto, or any of the other methods. And even if you don't want to trade, they have free daily giveaways to enter as well. Thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring. Once again, link in the description.